In this tutorial, we are going to use the different selection tools to adjust this dinnerware set. This image came from online, so it's a very small image. It's a low resolution. So the first thing we're going to do is we are just going to zoom in. I'm going to do my command plus, or I could also do a command zero, and that will make it full screen size. Up here, you can see that puts me at about 400%. Now this image looks like it's black and white, but there's a little bit of color. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my adjustments over here, and I'm going to find the black and white adjustment layer. As I do that, you're going to see that I have a new layer show up in my layers panel. And if I took any of these color channels and I changed this and slid them back and forth, it's going to find any of those colors that were in the original photo and make some adjustments. Now the photo was pretty much a black and white looking image, so there's not a lot of color to work with. So we're just going to leave that alone. But I have these adjustments so that I can turn this eye on and off and see what it was before and see what it was after. All right, now let's jump over to our toolbar. Over here in the toolbar, I'm gonna to start with the lasso tool. The lasso tool allows you to simply move your mouse and draw anything and select anything you want. Now that wasn't a very good selection. If you mess up the first time, you're gonna see this running ants pattern. And if you don't like that, just do a command D to deselect. So I'm gonna go one more time. And this time I'm gonna be a little slower and more careful. And I'm going to select out this plate. So do the best that you can with this. You're really just learning the tool at this point. Now I have that selection shown, and I'm gonna go back to my adjustments over here, and this time I wanna to go to levels. Now in your levels, you have a black, a gray, and a white. The best, and the in between, this little mountain range, this is called the histogram. So normally, you wanna put the white all the way at one end of the histogram, and the black at the opposite end of the histogram. That's how I know I have a pure black and a pure white in my photo, it'll have good contrast. I can then slide the gray back and forth to make the overall exposure lighter or darker. So I'm going to set my levels, set the white, set the black, and adjust the gray in between. Let's now go on to our second tool, which is the magnetic lasso. Now this one will find the edges for you. So as I click and I go around this little salad plate, the computer finds the edges for me. At any point I can click and it will make a point for me. However, if I go crazy and the tool goes all over the place, all you need to do is simply stop, double click, get those running ants selection pattern, and then just do a command D to deselect. Again, let's go slower this time and let's let the computer find the edges for us. So if I go slower, it recognizes the difference between light and dark, it finds the edges. If I get to a corner, I can always click and make a point Anywhere where it's kind of confused, you can see it's kind of confused here, I can just make a point for it by clicking. I go to the end. When I get to the end, you're gonna see this little zero. See that zero show up next to the tool? That closes the loop, and there it is. I am now gonna go back to my adjustments. I'm gonna go to levels again. We're gonna practice levels three times. And this time, I'm again going to set the black on one end, the white is already set. There's already some information at this end of the histogram. And now I can simply slide the gray. So on this one, be creative. Decide how light or dark you want it to be. We're gonna make each one a little bit different. So you get to choose. Maybe you make it really light. Maybe you're gonna make it really dark. But each section here, I can see each layer tells me different things I've done. I can see you've done levels on one and a second levels here. All right, let's go to our very next tool. We are gonna go down here to our quick selection tool. In the quick selection tool, sometimes the tool is very large. And up on the top, I have different options for the selection tool. So the first thing I'm gonna do is shrink the size of this tool. So on your keyboard, next to the letter P, you have these two bracket keys. We have a left bracket and a right bracket. As you press on the brackets, it'll make your tool larger and smaller. It's a nice keyboard shortcut. So we're gonna make the tool smaller and then you're gonna go in here and you're going to select the bowl. And you can see that we quickly did the entire inside of the bowl, but I don't wanna forget the outside. So I can click one time and it'll try to get that whole area, but it couldn't tell the difference between the edge of the bowl and the table. So now I can go up to the top and I can minus out some of that information. And you're gonna see inside my tool, now there's a minus sign. So I can go over here and I can drag it or I can just click one time I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna let just the edge of the tool 
go here and just click one time and let the computer find that little bit. There we go, that's much better. So remember on the top, you can add information or you can subtract information in the quick selection tool. Oh, there's a little bit right here. I can go to the minus and select some of that out just by clicking just a little bit. I'm gonna go back over here. Now, if I switch these levels, it's going to change the levels on this layer. So I need to tell the computer I'm on a new selection. So I go back to my adjustments, I go back to my levels, and you can see I have my new selection activated here. I can then, again, set my white point, set the black point on either end of this histogram, and then slide the gray to adjust the exposure. I'm gonna make this one really light. So now I have one, two, three in there. And I've made one, two, three levels layer. I have my black and white layer. At any time, I could just simply drag these down and turn that off or drag these on and turn those on. The last thing you're gonna do on your own is you are going to do this cup. Now the goal to select this cup is to select the cup, but not the opening on the inside. So I have the cup and the handle, but not the hole in the middle. You can use the lasso tool, magnetic lasso tool, quick selection, whatever combination of tools you want to try. So for example, I might start with the lasso tool, right, and select some of that. While it's selected, I could switch to my quick selection and I could add more in. You can use any combination of tools, but remember you want to select the cup and just the handle, but not this opening in the middle and make, again, another levels layer. When you are finished, you should have le levels one, two, three, and four should show the cup.